In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a WMS or Web Map Services layer to your project. These are geo-referenced map images we can load into our map view to assist with the visualization of our model. So here I have added a base map initially, and I'm going to add the WMS layers on top of this. But you can also add WMS layers to a blank map with no base map showing. Now on the Home tab, within the Mapping section on the far right, I'll click the Online Services icon. This new window opens pre-populated with a range of layers. So I need to find the layer I'm interested in. I can use these plus icons to drill down into the tiers or from one of these top tier items, I can right click and select expand all to see everything that's underneath. And I've also got this search bar provided at the top so I can start typing in there and find my layer that way. Then I simply need to check the boxes of the layers that I want to add. I can select a layer individually, or if I select a top tier item, it selects automatically all of the items underneath, and I can select as many layers as I want in this way. Then I'll click Add. And finally, we'll just click on Close to close that map window. And that's it. We can see that our layers have automatically been added into our project. They're visible in both the map view and over in the layers panel here. Now, just a few additional things about these layers. First off, please be aware that your WMS layers only show in the map view at certain zoom levels. So if I zoom out too far, these will just vanish altogether. If you load a WMS layer and it doesn't seem to be visible on the map, this might be why. Also, I need this box in the layers panel to be checked to visualize the layer. So if I uncheck these boxes, the layers disappear again. Finally, there are some options. If I select the layer in the layers panel and right click to open this menu, I have this option up here to unload the layer. This will remove the layer from my project altogether. And another interesting one is down the bottom here, we've got properties. If we open this, this opens the properties window and over in the symbology tab, we can make adjustments to the transparency. So here, if I adjust the transparency down to zero, and then I'll move that out the way so we can have a look at the same time. When I click apply, we can see that has made the layer completely opaque. Something to bear in mind is that my layer has got a white background. So as we've made that opaque, it's now covered over the base map that was in the background with that white background. This will also cover up any layers that are underneath it. So this layer here at the moment, if I make that one visible again, we can see that at the moment because it's on top of that layer that's opaque. But if I was to move this layer to the top, then we can see that we can't see that other layer either. It is also possible to add your WMS layers to your favorites to make it even easier to add them to all of your projects. This is explained in the video, how to add a WMS layer to your favorites. And a link to this is provided in the description below. Thank you for watching this tutorial video on how to add a WMS layer to your project. For further information, please visit www.flebmodeler.com.